trigonometric ratios and complementary angles. We're at 8.2D. We have four previous videos for Chapter 8 and three for this lesson alone. If you haven't seen them, you can go to the geometry playlist in the description and watch them. The acute angles of a right triangle are complementary angles. If the measure of one of the two acute angles is given, well, the measure of the second acute angle can be found by subtracting the given measure from 90 degrees. So, if they're complementary, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B will equal 90 degrees. If we know the measure of angle A is 43 degrees, well, then we know the measure of angle B is 47 degrees. Okay? And we can find the sine and cosine of acute angles in a right triangle. So, for the sine and cosine of angle A, Sine of A is going to be the O over the H, isn't it? The opposite leg over the hypotenuse. So we're going to have BC over AB. And that would be a 6 over a 10, which simplifies to 3 fifths. And the cosine of A would be the adjacent leg 8 over the hypotenuse 10. And that would simplify to a 4 fifths. And the sine and cosine of angle B up here the sine of B would be the opposite leg, this 8, over the hypotenuse, the 10, which simplifies to 4 fifths. And the cosine of B would be the adjacent leg, this 6, over the hypotenuse, 10, which simplifies to 3 fifths. So, do you notice something? Did you notice that the sine of A equaled the cosine of B? That's 3 fifths and that's 3 fifths. And the cosine of A is a 4 fifths and the sine of B is a four-fifths. So in general, the sine of an acute angle is equal to the cosine of the complement of that angle. And the trigonometric function of a complement of an angle is called the cofunction. And the sines and cosines are cofunctions of each other. And we can write sine in cosine terms and cosine in sine terms. For the sine of 42 degrees, equals the cosine times 90 degrees minus 42 degrees. Well, 90 minus 42 is 48, so the sine of 42 degrees is equal to the cosine of 48 degrees. Together, they equal 90. We can write the cosine of 36 degrees in terms of the sine. The cosine of 36 degrees equals the sine times 90 degrees minus 36 degrees. Well, that's 54 degrees, and these two together total 90 degrees. And this helps us find trigonometric ratios quickly because we only need to do it for one of the complementary angles. Then we can apply the relationships we have learned to find the trigonometric ratios of the second complementary angle. And the acute angles in a right triangle are always complementary. And we can find unknown angles that will satisfy the equation sine times 2x minus 4 degrees is equal to cosine times 3x plus 9 degrees. Now, they're equal to each other. Well, then they're measures of complementary angles. The sum of the measures must be 90 degrees. We know that's 90 degrees, and the triangle sum theorem says it's all 180 degrees inside, so the only thing that's left is 90. And if they're set equal to each other, we know that if we add 2x minus 4 degrees plus 3x plus 9 degrees, they'll equal 90. We can combine the like terms. The 2x and the 3x make a 5x. This minus 4 plus 9 makes a positive 5. We can solve for x by subtracting 5 from each side, getting 5x equals 85 degrees, dividing both sides by the coefficient 5, and finding out that x is equal to 17. Well, now that we know x is equal to 17, we can substitute that value into the original expression to find the angle measures. So, we had 2x minus 4, that's 2 times 17 minus 4, that's 30 degrees. And 3x plus 9 is 3 times 17 plus 9, that's 60 degrees. So now we have the measures of the two angles. And algebraic equations with sine and cosine relationships, such as sine x degrees equals cosine 5x degrees, can be solved by using the relationship of complementary angles. Our last video for Lesson 8.2, 8.2e, is going to be about inverse functions before we move on to 8.3. All right? So remember your SOHCAHTOA mnemonic that will help you. And remember that the complementary angles will help you. Okay? 
I'll see you next time. Bye.